Is it round or flat? Don't ask a brat. <laughs> Results from a new study reveal a third of young American millennials aren't sure that the earth is round. Here's what 18 to 24 year olds said when asked, do you believe the world is round or flat? 66% have always believed the earth is round, yippee. 9% always thought the world was round, but more recently became skeptical. 5% always thought the world was flat, but more recently had doubts, good for them. 4% always believed the world is flat. And the remaining 16% said, I'm not sure, but Greg Gutfeld is my father. <laughs> not true. For more, let's check in with a young millennial for a uh, comment. Come on, Schnogs. Don't think about it. You just got to go. <laughs> well, that earth was flat. <laughs> All right. I compiled a bunch of facts that prove the earth is round because I had to <laughs> because I couldn't remember how you prove it. But I know that it's round, Buck. Yeah, well, when people, when people tell the youth to fight the power, they don't mean Copernicus, right? I mean, there's some things that we can look at here and all understand that we're on the same page. But I would say that people should have a, a better understanding of why it is they believe what they believe. Mm. Because, for example, okay, we could all agree the earth is round, but you ask people about climate change, and they'll just say, because all, the, the answer really is because all the smart people say so. And that right. should never be your baseline of why you think something is or is not true. I did so, not think I'd get applause for that, by the way. That was nice. So Buck just said the Earth is flat. That is freaking me out. All right, Kat. <laughs> is this proof that either uh, millennials are dumb or the Earth is flat? I love this story. Yes. Because I thought I was doing just okay, and then I found out that so many of my peers believe that maybe the Earth is flat, and that's when I realized I am crushing it. <laughs> yeah, you are. I might be a little weird. I might think about reptiles a lot. I might have no plans except for eating mashed potatoes by myself after this is over. However, I know for a thousand percent sure that the world is round. I'm going to take this story, print it out, put it in a frame, put it right next to my bed so I can wake up every morning remembering what a star I am. Yeah, wow. Well. <laughs> Joe, where do you fall on this debate? Oh, I'm worried, Greg, because it seems like this... This conspiracy that the Earth is flat is picking up steam, and I don't even know who that would benefit. The, <laughs> the globe makers, I guess? The globe barons? Uh, uh, but uh, it just seems crazy to me, because uh, how many people you would have to have to keep that conspiracy going? Because we, we, like, we, we you fly to China, you didn't get to an edge. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't get to an edge, and you sent astronauts with them, they did pictures, and they showed a globe. So this is a big conspiracy, Tyrus. Very big. This is what happens when you answer text questions with selfies. Mm. <laughs> That's exactly what this is. They didn't, they didn't read this. <laughs> is the earth, yes. <laughs> like, this is the problem with, they just say things. Mm -hmm. they don't, they, they're like dogs chasing tires. They just do whatever. Uh, I'm not hello. taking a test. Uh, you said you're crushing it. I am. You're the unicorn of the group. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. The rest are sheep. <laughs> Wait, am I stuck in that group? You might be. Damn it. Yes, I think you might. Well, there's yeah, two unicorns in every thing. Unicorn. All right. The Earth enough, is round. Enough bashing unicorns. I think life would be easier if the world was flat, and here's why. Think about how much easier it would be to throw stuff away. Push it over the side. Yeah. yeah. That's Just walk over, <laughs> drop it off I the edge. You live at the edge. No, but you know what? It's like, it's like if it, because the earth is round, you can never really throw anything away. It just it goes in the earth. We or, could also, rocket it way, into space. Yeah, but it, then it just gets into this orbit. And we'd be, be like a lot Asgard. smaller for the purposes of asteroids yeah. hitting us. Think about it that yeah. way, yes. right? A lot thinner. You know what? I'm so sick of you and your edge privilege. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, also, if the earth was flat... Nobody could sneak up on you because, you know, someone could say, hey, later, see you later, Buck, and then walk away and then come all the way around because it's a globe and surprise you and stab you. <laughs> so but with flat, you know where everybody is. They can't get around you. You see? You see what I'm talking about? Also, think of the mystery of the Earth's underside. That'll be like the cool th place to go. Hey, where are you going? Uh, me and the wife, we're going to the Earth's underside because if it's flat, there's got to be something underneath, right? New Jersey. New Jersey? <laughs> That's right. They're clapping their own state's <laughs> demise. All right, I think we're done here.
Don't go anywhere. Final thoughts next. Yeah!